Did you know that Japan has more than 300 Kit Kat bar flavors? Or that Japanese people love to bath in ramen noodle soup? Now let's pause for a moment to let that sink in. Yes, you heard it right. Welcome to Japan, the land of the rising sun, where the unexpected is the norm and surprises are around every corner. Imagine a place where you can find square watermelons, parking lots for umbrellas, or even come face to face with Tokyo's largest resident, Godzilla. Here are 25 things that only exist in Japan. From the millions of vending machines to the polite slurping of noodles, Japan is an intriguing puzzle that never fails to fascinate. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to unravel about Japan. Let's begin this flavorful journey with square watermelons. Grown in glass boxes to maintain their shape, these cuboid fruits are not just a novelty, but a symbol of status and gift giving in Japan. But why stop at reshaping fruits when you can bathe in your favorite dish? In Unison Spa Resort in Hakone, you can plunge into a ramen noodle bath. It's not for a snack, mind you, but for the noodle broth's nutrients that are said to improve your skin. Next stop, the world of Kit Kat. Kit Kat in Japan is more than a chocolate-covered wafer. It's a canvas for flavor innovation. From soy sauce to sweet potato, wasabi to sake, there are over 300 flavors to choose from. Yes, you heard that right, 300. Now let's talk about the art of deception. Japan's fake food industry, also known as Sampuru, creates incredibly detailed and lifelike models of dishes for restaurant displays. These plastic replicas are so convincing they'll make your mouth water. And speaking of watering mouths, we can't forget about the ice cream. Sure, you've had your vanilla, chocolate and strawberry, but have you ever tried horse meat, cactus or charcoal flavoured ice cream? Japan's crazy ice cream flavours push the boundaries of what we consider dessert, challenging your taste buds in the most unexpected ways. So whether you're biting into a square watermelon soaking in a ramen bath, tasting a wasabi Kit Kat, being fooled by a plastic sushi or daring to try an octopus ice cream, one thing is certain. Food in Japan is not just a necessity, it's an adventure. Have you ever heard of a rabbit island or a doll village? Right, it sounds like something out of a whimsical children's book. But these places truly exist and they're nestled in the heart of Japan. Imagine stepping off a ferry onto an island where the chief inhabitants are hundreds, even thousands of fluffy rabbits hopping freely, making up Okonoshima, better known as Rabbit Island. Once a top-secret location for the production of poison gas during World War II, it's now a sanctuary for these adorable creatures. They've become the island's main attraction, luring tourists from all around the globe. But remember, while the bunnies may be cute, they are wild. Always approach with care and respect their space. Now let's take a turn towards the eerie yet fascinating Nagoro or the Doll Village. It's a tiny town nestled in the valleys of Shikoku, Japan's smallest main island. What makes Nagoro unique? Well, it's populated more by dolls than humans. These dolls, scattered throughout the village, are the handiwork of local artist Ayano Tsukimi. Each one represents a former resident, a silent tribute to those who once lived there. It's a poignant sight seeing these dolls in fields, schools and along roadsides, a silent echo of the life that once filled the village. But that's not all. Japan is teeming with unusual inhabitants. There's the famous Godzilla, Tokyo's biggest resident looming over the city from the Toho building in Shinjuku. And let's not forget the millions of vending machines that dot the landscape, serving everything from hot coffee to umbrellas. They're so ubiquitous you'd think they're part of the local populace. Japan is full of experiences that you won't find anywhere else. For instance, have you ever thought of preserving memories in a fun and artistic way? Japan has something called Purikura machines. They're like photo booths, but far more advanced. You can add digital makeup, change your eye size, and add fun stickers or messages to your photos. It's a fantastic way to capture memories with your friends or loved ones, and it's definitely a step up from the usual selfie. Now imagine you're in a crowded train station during rush hour. It's packed, and people are struggling to get on and off the trains. In Japan, they've found a solution. Meet the People Pushers, or Oshia. These station attendants literally push people into the trains to make sure everyone fits. 
It's a sight that might seem unusual to outsiders, but it's just another day on the subway in Japan. And let's not forget, when it's raining in Japan, you don't have to worry about your umbrella getting stolen or mixed up with someone else's. Umbrella parking lots are a common sight at public places where you can lock your umbrella and ensure it's safe and sound while you go about your business. In many parts of the world, a train delay of five minutes is hardly newsworthy. But in Japan, a country renowned for its punctuality, even a minute's delay can make the headlines. One hour delay would result in an official public news apology. It's a testament to the efficiency and precision that runs in the country's veins. Japan is known for its unique and sometimes strange practices. One such practice is silent karaoke, a concept that might seem bewildering to the uninitiated. You see, the Japanese have a deep respect for harmony and tranquility, even in their entertainment. So, they've invented a microphone with a cone that fits around your mouth, allowing you to belt out your favorite tunes without disturbing your neighbors. It's a perfect example of how Japan marries tradition with innovation. Then we have polite slurping. Yes, you heard that right. In Western cultures, slurping might be considered rude or comical, but in Japan it's the opposite. Slurping your noodles is seen as a sign of enjoyment and appreciation. It's a way of saying, this is delicious, without uttering a single word. Next up, we have face napkins. Imagine you're in a restaurant, enjoying a Wagyu burger and you're about to start eating, but you don't want to splash all over your face. What do you do? In Japan, you use a face napkin. It's a small piece of paper that you can place over your mouth while eating. It's all about maintaining cleanliness and decorum. Then there are the water-saving sinks. These are not your average sinks. In Japan, many public toilets have a sink attached to the top of the toilet tank. When you flush, fresh water flows into the sink for you to wash your hands, and then it's used to refill the toilet tank. It's a simple yet effective way to conserve water. Next up, we have naps at work, also known as inemuri. In many cultures, sleeping at work might earn you a reprimand, but in Japan, it's seen as a sign of diligence. It suggests that you're working so hard, you're too tired to stay awake. It's not uncommon to see office workers napping at their desks during their lunch breaks. These practices might seem strange to us, but they're just part of everyday life in Japan. Japan's quirkiness doesn't stop at its practices. And these idiosyncrasies, believe it or not, are part of what makes Japan so uniquely captivating. Take, for instance, the world's shortest escalator. Located in Kawasaki, it boasts a height of just 33 inches with a grand total of five steps. It's a charming testament to the Japanese love for the unusual and innovative, but Japan's appetite for different doesn't stop there. Moving on, we encounter another peculiarity, the absence of the number four. Due to its pronunciation she, which sounds like death in Japanese, it's often avoided in hospitals, hotels, and even in everyday life. Instead, the number is replaced with yon. Next up, the traffic lights. You may be used to seeing red, yellow, and green, but in Japan, expect to see blue. The country's traffic lights have a distinct bluish hue for the go signal, a testament to Japan's unique take on the ordinary. Speaking of the ordinary, even cleaning takes a different turn in Japan. School children are taught to clean their classrooms and school premises, a practice that instills a sense of responsibility and respect for the environment from a young age. And then there are footbath trains. Imagine soaking your feet in a warm bath while enjoying scenic views from a moving train. Only in Japan, right? OK, what about futuristic toilets? Equipped with a multitude of buttons, these toilets offer a variety of functions, from seat warming to playing music, it's a bathroom experience like no other. Japan never fails to surprise with its quirkiness. The country's extraordinary spin on the everyday is part of its charm and allure, creating a culture that is uniquely its own. Let's take a closer look at some examples of this, such as the country's space-saving parking lots and robot-run hotels. Japanese cities are densely populated and space is at a premium. To address this issue, Japan has come up with an innovative solution, space-saving parking lots. Picture a multi-storied carousel for cars. Yes, that's right. You drive your car into a single entry point, and automated machinery lifts and slots your vehicle into an available space. When you're ready to leave, the system retrieves your car in a matter of minutes. 
It's a perfect blend of practicality and technological innovation, solving the problem of space constraint in an efficient and elegant manner. Now, let's switch gears and talk about hotels. But not just any hotels, we're talking about robot-run hotels. The Henna Hotel in Nagasaki was the first of its kind in the world. Instead of human staff, you're greeted by a multilingual dinosaur robot at the reception. Robots handle everything from check-in to cleaning and concierge services. Even the fish in the lobby aquarium are robotic. It's a surreal experience that feels like stepping into a sci-fi movie. These two examples are just a small glimpse into how Japan is constantly pushing the boundaries of technology and innovation. Japan's futuristic approach is truly remarkable. It's not just about creating technology for technology's sake, but about finding innovative ways to solve everyday problems, improve quality of life, and deliver unique experiences. It's a testament to the country's forward-thinking mindset and its commitment to continuous improvement and innovation. From bizarre food flavors to advanced technology, Japan is a treasure trove of uniqueness. As we conclude this journey, let's take a moment to revel in the spectrum of experiences that only exist in this vibrant land. Square watermelons, a testament to Japan's knack for novelty and precision, sit alongside the unusual concept of a ramen noodle bath, a unique spa experience. The culinary adventure continues with bizarre Kit Kat flavors and the artful display of fake food, so lifelike that it could fool the keenest eye. Our journey took us to the adorable Rabbit Island and introduced us to the fun-filled Puricura machines. We've seen the diligent people pushers, ensuring the efficiency of public transportation, and the ingenious umbrella parking lots, a solution to a common problem. The sheer number of vending machines serving everything from drinks to books is a sight to behold, as is Tokyo's biggest resident, the iconic Godzilla. We've learned that train delays make headlines here, reflecting the country's commitment to punctuality. We've also discovered the unique concept of silent karaoke and the polite slurping of noodles, both integral parts of the local culture. Face napkins, water-saving sinks, strange mayo and naps at work all contribute to the distinct Japanese lifestyle. We've ridden the world's shortest escalator, dined at a canned food restaurant and visited a doll village. We've learned about the Japanese avoidance of the number four and their unique blue traffic lights. We've been introduced to the concept of cleaning classes in schools, the relaxing footbath trains, the futuristic toilets, and the crazy ice cream flavors. We've seen space-saving parking lots and stepped into the future with robot-run hotels. We've even experienced the comfort of a cafe companion. These 25 unique things are just a glimpse into Japan's fascinating culture and way of life. There's so much more to explore and experience in this wonderful country.